How's it going guys? My name is Ted and this is a review for the official Samsung flip cover case. Now for this one I'm using the Galaxy Note 2 flip cover case but all the Galaxy series devices have the exact same flip cover case so this is a review for all of them as well because this review will cover the pros and cons that are universally affected by the flip cover case. Now there are a lot of pros and a lot of cons for this flip cover case. I want to start with the pros because I think that's a better place to start with and hopefully by the end of this video I will have given you too much information that way you will be a very well informed shopper and know if you should purchase this thing for yourself or not. Now starting off with the pros it's very very thin and that's something that I, I really like about it. Uh, normally with these uh, covers and cases that you have they're very very thick but this one removes the removable back on your device and replaces it with this slightly thicker about one or two millimeter thicker uh, case on the back and it has this nice vinyl and uh, suede on the inside flip cover that adds very minimal thickness to your device. You can see there how thin the device stays uh, a little bit thicker around this side and it also covers the front of your device which you know is kind of the whole point of the flip cover but keep in mind that when you drop your device face first and it lands like this if you don't have the flip cover to protect your screen you're gonna have a very bad day and probably a cracked screen so with this flip cover on there when you drop your device face first you don't have to worry nearly as much about your screen being completely shattered like it would be without the flip cover case it's also very stylish I think to you know flip open your cover and then have your phone there um, it looks very very neat and slick I like the design of it and also if you get a phone call you don't have to keep the device open and then put it up to your ear you can simply close it and you have the uh, the microphone right there showing through I don't know if that's gonna show up on camera hopefully it will it's a very minimalistic design you've got the Galaxy Note 2 down there and Samsung up there and it also replaces your carrier icon on the back with just the default Samsung icon up there. Once again, very minimalistic on the back. Also, if you, if you for whatever reason, lose your removable back or break your removable back, this doubles as another removable back. It's exactly the same removable back as you would have default on your Galaxy Note 2 or Galaxy S4, whatever device you have it on. And it also comes with this handy dandy flip cover and it's about the same price as if you had to go out and buy a new removable back. Now, another pro that I really, really like, I think most people overlook this, is it cleans your screen. You can see how clean my screen is there. Hopefully, I'll show it in the light there. You can see how clean and spotless my screen is because when this is in your pocket, it just slowly rubs back and forth and that cleans off your screen. Now, a con of this is if you get something on the suede, like say sand if you're at the beach, if you close it there and start rubbing back and forth, it could end up scratching your screen. I've heard reports of this, but it has never happened to me and I live at the beach, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. Now there are a couple cons to this device. The first one being that when you open up the flip cover, if you're going to use your phone like this or try to use it one-handed, it adds a lot of thickness there to the side of the device. As you can see, it almost doubles the thickness of your device. So actually operating your phone with this flip cover on, it does kind of lead to a lot of added thickness as well as a lot harder use if you try to use it one-handed. Either hand that you use, it could be very difficult because of that added thickness. One more problem is when you're trying to take a photo with the camera, um, a lot of times this flip cover just gets in the way when you're trying to hold it up and it'll, it'll fly back in the face of the camera. And it's just, it's just too wobbly. It makes your videos or your images uh, a lot of unstable because you got this flip cover just sitting there dangling, moving your phone back and forth. Especially if it's a windy day outside, this could pose a very big problem. The only way I found to take a photo with it is I have to do two, kind of two-handed like this and then snap the photo this way while holding onto the case itself. It's kind of a nuisance in that situation. It does add a little bit of thickness, so I can consider that both a pro and a con. Although it is not much thickness, it does add some, and that could be a turnoff to some people. Now, after two months of actually using it, I spent one month of not using it at all. And the reason for this is the added thickness, and it was kind of a nuisance and in the way, like I said. So for me, if I could go back and take back my 20 or $30 that I spent on this, I actually would. Although it looks really cool and it probably is the best accessory for the Galaxy Note 2 or any Galaxy device, it just turned out to be too much of a nuisance and I kind of like my phones bare. I like them with the uh, minimal thickness. I like them without the flip cover just sitting there dangling. I miss the, the clean screens that I had when I had my flip cover on. But overall, I've spent the last month without it on and I haven't looked back. So that's my review guys. Me personally, I would not buy it, but I wanted to give you guys all the information, lay out all the cards on the table so you can be a very well informed shopper. Let me know in the comment section down below, are you now interested in buying the flip cover case or have I completely turned you off of it? Hopefully I haven't swayed your opinion too much, but I want to make sure you guys are informed shoppers and don't go out and spend 20 or $30 on something you just don't need. 
So that's it guys for this video. Please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed as well as subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I post Android content every single day and I keep you guys informed on the latest and greatest Android news as soon as it happens. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.